Uh, okay, everyone, so let's um, write this down. It's I equals PRT for T. That's actually interest equals principal times rate times time, and we're solving for time, okay? Um, so, so before we solve this, I just want to, like, one, one way of problem solving is, like, like you take something that's difficult and, 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 and put it into something easier. So, um, so I'm just going to say, imagine our principal was $100. Imagine our rate was um, 5%, so 0 0.05. And imagine time was, um, uh, let's say, uh, three years, right? Uh, so that would be uh, 15 Dollars. This is simple interest, by the way. This is what a formula is for simple interest. So, so I just want everyone to write down this thing with the num with numbers instead of letters, because we get scared of of letters. So let's okay, let's let's do numbers then, right? Um. So so the question is, how, our time is three years, and let's say we didn't know that. Like, how would we how would we find that, right? given the, the, the interest of $15, the principal of $100, the rate of 5%, 5%, that's 0 0.05, right? So, so to get the three by itself is what we're trying to do. Now, three has been multiplied by this number and also multiplied by this number, right? So the opposite of multiplying is dividing, right? So we divide. Now we can divide by, say, 100. And if I do that, uh, these guys cross cancel, right? But I can also divide by 0 0.05. So I can divide by that as well, right? So 100 times 0 0.05, and these guys are going to cross cancel also. And you'll be just left with the 3 on the right. Does that make sense? So, and I can do the same on the other side. Divide by 100, you know, times 0 0.05, right? And so... So we end up with basically, you know, 15 over 100 times 0 0.05 is equal to, and we just have 3 there. Does that make sense? So that's how you would solve something like this with numbers. And by the way, 100 times 0 0.05, that is 5% of 100 is just 5. So this is actually 15 over 5. And 15 over 5 is definitely Three. I just did that for fun, right? But but we could even think of easier numbers, like 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 let's say, like if I took say the number thirty. Okay, so the number thirty is equal to ten times three, which is five. You know, times. I'll do multiplication with dots for fun. Five times two times three, isn't it? Right. And let's say so. So I just want everyone just for fun solve that for five. Like I want you to get five on its own and do it by algebra, do it by dividing and see what you would come up with, right? So the 5 is being multiplied by 2 and also by 3, right? So I can divide by 2 times 3, can I? And sim similarly, I can do that over here, right? And so let's just write this out. And the 2's cross cancel, see that? The 3's cross cancel, see that? And, and so I have 30 over 2 times 3. 30 over 2 times 3 is equal to 5. Does that make sense? And of course, that's 2 times 3 is 6. It's just 30 over 6. Well, that's 5, isn't it? Yeah, so that makes sense. So so that's just playing around with it with numbers, and I hope that helps because that's all it is. What we have is P multiplied by R, which is multiplied by T. So these are all being multiplied by each other. So I have to get T on its own. So I So how do I undo multiplying? Divide, lovely. And I can divide by Yeah, P yeah, P R, but not T, because I want to leave T there. If we divide by T then the T goes away as well. But we want to leave T we want to isolate T on its own, right? We want to leave that on its own, right? So divide both sides by P R or P times R, same thing, right? And if you do that, the P's cross cancel, great. The R's cross cancel, great. So those complications are taken out of our life, right? And now we have T over here. And so we have I over P times R, or I over PR equals T, right? 
And the reason formulas are useful is that when you have simple interest, simple interest, which is kind of like uh, a lot of loans use simple interest actually, the time is equal to the interest over the principal times the rate. And that's for any time, interest, principal, or rate. So that's the simplification of math, right? So, so we're not, it's not just for some specific example, it's for all examples. So time equals I over PR. So I think we beat that one to death, no?